In today's video, man, I wanna talk about the main reason why a lot of men and women struggle in relationships. When we look at this thing, vain people always stay surface level. They're not that deep. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, the word of the Most High Yah says, beauty is vain and charm is deceitful, but a woman that fears the Most High is to be praised. And that's on both sides of the house when we look at a vain man or a vain woman. Man, there's men and women out there that, you know, have their stuff together and they're working to build something for themselves, but their attraction lies uh, in vain men or women, you know, for a man. You've got men out there that, you know, have awesome careers, you know, uh, you know are financially stable, you know, not deadbeats you know, gentlemen, and they have an attraction to extremely vain women. And when you look at this, this is the woman that always wants to be in front of that makeup vanity. This is the woman that uh, always has to have makeup on. This is the woman that's uh, always got to get her hair done, you know, and outside of that hair getting done, uh, putting expensive weave in there having very extravagant hairstyles. You know, this is the woman that has to have her nails done. You know, I'm talking about fake nails, fake toenails, uh, you know, individual lashes installed. You know, you'll realize that when we look at a lot of these uh, case studies of people, especially in the industry, especially in entertainment, we look at how vain they are and we look at these relationships fall apart, you realize that a lot of these people uh, are not that deep. You know, a lot of the women are not that deep when it comes to their morals, their characters, their values, their belief system. You got men that are attracted to women like that and they are morally uh, defective, spiritually retarded. And this is why vain people, they're always gonna, they're always gonna take the stance of being vain. Let me look the part, and looking the part is part of the deception of you thinking that they're actually deep, but you can ask a couple questions, situational-based questions, questions to challenge their beliefs, their values, and you're gonna realize that uh, there's a lot of uh, moral relativism, you know, there's a lot of hypocrisy. You got to think, man, there's, we've seen it before where you have women who somewhat have their stuff together in a worldly sense. You know, they might be educated, they might be successful, uh, financially stable, but when it comes to what they look for in a man, they look at, okay, I want the man that's got the Jordans. I want the man that's got on a $200 pair of jeans. I want the man that's got on gold chains. I want the man that wears sunglasses, uh, you know, even when he's inside buildings. I want the man with dreadlocks. And then you realize a lot of these women have shaped their idea of what they think men are based upon them choosing very vain men. And the same thing, like, you know, uh, Jezebel had to have her Ahab. Ahab had to have his Jezebel. But when you think about that, that tarnishes, you know, when you don't look below the surface, beneath the surface 
for character, value, morals, their belief system, you know, how they uh, navigate and what is their compass in life, their driving fact. When you don't when you don't look at that and acknowledge that, you are going to be entertaining some shallow people that lack critical thinking skills, that lack uh, logic and reasoning and sound judgment. And all of that vanity uh, oftentimes is a cover up for a bunch of bad decisions. And, and, and rather than rather than being accountable for their bad decisions and assessing those situations for the lessons that can come out of them, they gravitate towards more vanity in order to deceive. That's what the word says, beauty is vain, charm is deceitful. Think about that, but a woman that fears the Lord, the most high is to be praised. And you have to think about how uh, a beautiful woman is very vain. And when we're talking about this, you know, there's natural beauty and then there's this vain beauty. A lot of women and men are, are you know, they gravitate towards vain beauty. You know, when you, when you take a deep dive uh, into some of these people, you know, they can't hold a conversation. They can't talk about anything deep. Uh, they can't even articulate their morals, their values, like I said, their belief system, because they are so focused on appearance, so focused on getting people to see them uh, in the light that they want to be seen. And then when you get behind closed doors with these people, you're like, man, this man, it, it can't lead himself out of a bowl of jello. This woman lacks character. She lacks all of the qualities that you want a woman to have. And I'm telling you, you can continue to live your life like that, but vain people will always set you back. Vain people won't get you further. It's those that have character, it's those that have morals, a good belief system. And when I'm saying a good belief system, you know, you got you got women out there that, that believe in witchcraft. That's not the kind of belief system I'm talking about. I'm talking about a belief system focused on righteousness. You got women out there that believe in 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 uh, enchantments, in astrology. That's not the belief system I'm talking about. I'm talking about a righteous belief system. You know, the vain men and women will always set you back. They're not that deep. Closer to y'all ministries kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Wow.